Hello, it is I, I am Smart, and I'm here to talk about the latest Silk episode. It's episode 7, it's the last episode before the finale. Um, it's pretty meh, if I'm being honest. I, I kind of want to talk about this, some stuff I want to talk about, but overall it was just kind of, it was just kind of eh. It was like, really, this is the last episode before the finale? They, be they better do good in the finale. They better finish this thing up well. But, if my prediction's right, they're probably just going to do a cliffhanger. So anyway... I mean, C-3PO showed up. I guess I guess Anthony Daniels decided to need a paycheck and was like, oh, I'll play C-3PO again. So I mean, it's always good to see him, you know? Uh, it was kind of cool. Um, yeah, that reminds me. What, what's up with Hera in this show? Like, seriously, she just kind of sucks. She's really annoying. Is anyone else getting that? Like, she went off on this mission. She directly disobeyed orders, but she's like, oh, well, I'm a general, so I can do whatever I want. It's like, no, that's not how that works. Uh, and then she, like, got three people killed on this mission she wasn't allowed to go on to anyway. And then she's just like, but I was doing it for a good reason, though. Thrawn's coming back. And then the senator, uh, the... Ziono, is that what his name is? Yeah, it's, it's it's the guy who's Kaz's dad, which thanks for reminding me that Star Wars Resistance exists. Anyway, why is he such a jerk? But at the same time, he's kind of right. Hera's really wrong in this situation. I don't know. I swear, if Hera wasn't so hot in the show, I would hate her. Oh yeah, Mon Mothma was there, but... And it's cool she's the Chancellor now. That's that's kind of cool. She's Supreme Chancellor, but it's like... She's just so much cooler in Andor, man. She was, she, was, she was... I hate to say it, but she was better in Andor. I mean, come on. She was such a good character in Andor. Here she's just like, Hi, I'm Mon Mothma. Is Thrawn a real threat? And Hera's like, yeah. Ugh, why does why the dialogue suck so much in this show? Ah, I hate it so much. Anyway, um... So, I mean, there's that. But anyway, now that Thrawn is here, he's carrying the show on his back. Um, which unfortunately meant that, like, Balin and Shin kind of got, like, s s shoved off to the side in the episode. They really were, like, really strong last episode, and Thrawn too. But now it was kind of like, alright, get out of the way, Balin and Shin. Thrawn is the real villain now, which kind of sucks, because I was really getting into their story, so I don't really know what they're doing with them. And again, that's another thing they have to somehow wrap up in the finale. They're going to have to wrap up both those characters, and Thrawn, and... Ezra, and Sabine, and Ahsoka, and Hera, and Mon Mothma, and all these characters are gonna have to somehow get everything wrapped up in the finale. Also, Enoch, I, I love this guy. He's so cool. I love Enoch, dude. He, I, I, I don't know what it is. I've just, I've grown so fond of him and all the Stormtroopers. They're so awesome. I love them. I love Stormtroopers. And just, he's so cool. He's got such a cool helmet. At first I thought it was really weird looking, but it's really growing on me. I really love the guy. He's just so cool. Hey, this episode had some decent action, I thought. I mean, the fight scenes were all right. I don't really, I don't really know how to judge fight scenes, because, I mean, people would be like, oh, the choreography, blah, blah, blah. I, I just judge Star Wars fight scenes with lightsaber and stuff based on whether or not they're cool. You know, the throne room scene in The Last Jedi is probably one of my favorites, because it's cool. It looks cool. It's interesting to look at. There's a lot going on. Sure, the choreography may not line up perfectly, but I enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. This show, it's like, sure, it's enjoyable. I'm, I'm not going to think much more other than that. If it's more thematic stuff, I'm going to look more into it, but for this, it's just kind of like, all right, they're fighting. It's decent, and, um, also, there was a big fight with all the, the, it was kind of like a, kind of like, again, like kind of kind of like a Western movie it is the inspiration I got, where they're on like these, uh, these little pod things and they're being chased by dudes on horseback. It's kind of like an old Western movie, you know, where there's like a stage coast heist, you know, something like that Red Dead Redemption 2 type stuff, you know, kind of gave me that kind of vibe. And I thought that was cool. I still hate the little hermit crab people, though. And I, I don't know what it is. Why are Sabine and Ezra so awkward together? I don't remember Rebels that well. Were they always this awkward when they talk? Because their conversations are just like... Hey, thanks for saving me. Yep, I'm I'm here now. Why are you here now? How did you get here? It's a long story. Okay, well, how is this thing going on? It's a long story. I don't want to tell you. Like, what what are they doing? It's just, the dialogue is so weird, and it's just it's it just feels unnatural. Also, it's funny because uh, 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 Ezra was like, "So wait, the Emperor is dead," and Sabine's like, "Well, he's probably dead." I mean, that's what they say, and it's just like, oh, ah, uh, no. No. But seriously though, what was up with Balin and Shin? I'm, go I'm coming back to this again. Like, like Balin was just like, Hey Shin, uh, we have to go on our separate paths now, because I need to go find this great mystery thing, which they didn't even mention. They mentioned that last episode, I thought they were going to talk about that. He's still trying to find some great power on this world, we don't know what it is yet. Um, and he's just like, well, you want to go serve the Empire, so go serve the Empire. And she's like, okay, and then she goes up to fight him. And then she runs away, but the whole time Balin is just like standing on a hill, until Ahsoka shows up and he fights her. And then he just continues to stand on that hill. Like, I thought he was looking for the thing. Why didn't he leave to look at... Why was he just standing on the hill? He could have gone and helped Shin. And I don't know. That's just... Why are characters being dumb all of a sudden? That that, that really bothers me. Um, especially because these are the two characters I like the most in this show. And they're just... Why did they do the things they did in this episode? It was very awkward. Anyway, here's my uh, my biggest complaint in this episode. 
the stormtroopers. They all just died, cause <laughs> ah! ah again. Oh, I thought we were done with this crap. I thought we were. I'd like. I, I, it's just again. Why? Why do the stormtroopers show up and are like, all right, cool? It's the stormtroopers. It's the main fighting force of the antagonist. They should be a threat. But nope, they all just die, and they're all stupid, and they don't even get one kill, despite the fact that they're all, you know, surrounded and shooting at them. It's, it's literally shooting at fish in a barrel, but oh, they're force users, and they're the main characters, so they can't die. So all these stormtroopers, who are highly trained, just die. Ugh, it, it just bothers me, man. It's like, why? Come on, man. And the more I think about it, I'm thinking, like, I, I'm, I'm honestly, th I'm watching this show thinking about a more interesting show in, in this concept I came up with. Okay, these stormtroopers have been alone. Uh, I'm not alone, but they've been stranded on this world for, for 10 years. They haven't seen their families, they haven't seen their friends, they probably don't even know if there's anything left. Their families probably think they're dead, right? They've been stranded on this world only with each other to rely on, and their commander who's kind of crazy, and the crazy witch people, so they, they really don't got much to rely on. Wouldn't it be such a more interesting story to tell about what these stormtroopers have been doing, how they've been surviving, the struggles they've been going through, and see a story from their perspective? No, no, they're just they're just gonna go die in the background. Because that's what stormtroopers do. You don't get to be interesting, Mr. Stormtrooper. No, you die in the background. That's what you do. God, I hate my existence so much. Like, I'm not asking for the stormtroopers to just kill all of the main characters. That's not what I'm asking. It's just they should be a threat. They shouldn't be like, oh no, we're all getting killed easily. We have to run away. It should be like, you know, they shoot at them and it's like, oh crap, there's this ton of stormtroopers. They're really dangerous. We gotta get out of here. And then the main characters have to run away. So the main characters still don't die, but it's just, can I not look like an idiot? That's literally all I'm asking. Please, just don't make me look stupid, okay? That's all I ask. So anyway, what a, th th this episode was just kind of like, it was really filler, I guess? I don't even know if that's what you would call it. There was some cool stuff, I guess, but it's just like, I thought there would be more substantial stuff before the finale. I really thought this would be the episode that Thrawn would leave, and like, the episode would end on him just appearing in the galaxy and starting to wreck havoc, and then the next episode is going to be them cleaning it up or something, but... It's like, what's gonna happen? I feel like this episode's gonna have, like, it's gonna be, like, not halfway through till Thrawn leaves the planet. That's is gonna happen in the finale. And they're probably just gonna end it on a cliffhanger. Like, oh no, what's Thrawn gonna do now that he's back in the main galaxy? It's just gonna be a stupid cliffhanger. And it's just like, uh, I know that's what they're gonna do, because that's the only way they can do it. Or, they're just gonna rush everything like they did in Mando Season 3 and just be like, yep, Moff Gideon is dead, Thrawn is dead, and then uh, everyone's dead, woo. Like, I really hope they don't do that again. But at the same time, I hope they don't end it on a cliffhanger. I don't know, but that's probably what they're going to do. Because they need to lead this into either a season two of this show, which they'll probably do if they can. Or that Mandoverse movie that Dave Filoni is making, which just makes me th sick to think about it. Uh, it's going to be so bad, because it's just going to be the same crap in Ahsoka, where it's just like, Whoa! Remember this character from this show? Well, guess what? They're back, and they're helping join all these other characters to help fight the bad guy. And Thrawn's going to be the bad guy of that movie. It's just gonna be Endgame. It's, uh, makes me sick thinking about it. It's just gonna be so bad. Ugh. Anyway, that's my rant for this week over. Um, I didn't hate this episode as much as I hated, like, episode 5, which was just fan service, and I hated it because of that. But I do think it was definitely a weaker episode. Um, I mean, some people were all like, oh, yay, we get to see more of Ezra, and you got to do blah blah blah. Like, sure, that's cool. I think Ezra's better he's more he's less annoying than he was in rebels i thought i hated that guy in rebels so he's, he's cooler in this episode but overall it's just kind of meh which is general my my feelings towards the whole show now it's just like it's got some good stuff it's got some bad stuff it's just it's just kind of meh i don't know i, I that definitely things that really really upset me and but there really isn't anything really stand out to make me really love this series and i don't know maybe it's just i'm not the target audience i don't know anyway i hope you enjoyed I don't know if you guys can tell, I got a sore throat. It's really annoying. Um, it, it, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's, just, it, it, it's, 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 it's annoying. That's why it hurts. My throat hurts. So anyway, the finale is next week. Um, hope it's good. Anyway, that's the end of the video now. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. You're super cool. All you people who watch my videos and watch to the end because you're, you're the real ones. Um, so anyway, bye.